Welcome back to Halloween Week on Speakeasy Spirits. Today's Halloween-themed cocktail is one you're probably seeing a lot of right now. When you're looking for Halloween cocktails, this one is always on everybody's list. Today, I'm going to try and put my own spin on it while staying true to the original. Let's make a zombie. The zombie is undoubtedly one of the very first original tiki cocktails. And like a lot of tiki cocktails, it's got a lot of ingredients. Behind me is everything that goes into that original zombie recipe. Falernum, a spiced liqueur, some absinthe, a Puerto Rican rum, a Jamaican rum, an overproof rum, some grenadine, grapefruit juice, cinnamon syrup, and Angostura bitters. When Don the Beachcomber put the zombie on his menu, it had a limit of two per customer. Like most things Don the Beachcomber did, that was partly for marketing reasons. It made people really wonder what was in there and want to order one. But also, it contained a whopping four ounces of rum, including some of that being 151 proof. As tiki waned in popularity in the 80s and 90s, a lot of these original recipes were thought to be lost. That is, until Dave Beachbum Berry came along and tracked down the original bartenders, their notes, things written on cocktail napkins to find those original recipes, interview the people who were there making the cocktails, and find out what those ingredients actually were and how they were made. Beach Bum Berry worked with Ed Hamilton of Hamilton Rums to come up with a blend perfect for the zombie. It comes in at 118 proof and has very concentrated flavors, so we can actually use two ounces of this blend to replace the four ounces of rum we would have used here. Because you're only using two ounces of rum, you're going to go through the bottle slower, and it's going to cost you less per drink. The zombie also used a secret ingredient called Don's Mix. Now, in his research, Beach Bumberry found out that this was actually just a blend of grapefruit juice and cinnamon syrup. This is where I put my own twist on this recipe. Instead of a cinnamon syrup, I have created, for Halloween, a pumpkin spice syrup. So let's get started and make a zombie. We're going to start with our shaker tin and two ounces of Beach Bumberry's zombie blend. Now, even though there's only going to be two ounces in here, like I said, this is 118 proof or 59% alcohol, so it's still strong and has plenty of kick to it. This isn't just for zombies. There's plenty of other recipes you can make with this. It's a really good blend of rums, and you're going to find a lot of uses for it behind the bar. Now we need three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Half an ounce of Falernum. There's several different brands out on the market. Beach Bumberry actually has his own Latitude 29 brand, but I'm going to be using John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum today. This is pretty standard in tiki cocktails. Half an ounce. This is going to add cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, and some lime flavors to it. Now we need half an ounce of grapefruit juice. Now in the original recipe, this would have been white grapefruit juice. But I have gone to six grocery stores this week and have been unable to find any white grapefruit. So I'm going to be using some pink grapefruit juice. A pink grapefruit juice is going to be sweeter. White grapefruit is going to have a lot more bitterness to it. But when you see a tiki recipe that calls for grapefruit juice, they're probably referring to white grapefruit. Now we're going to use half an ounce of our pumpkin spice syrup. Now the original recipe calls for cinnamon syrup. And you can go ahead and use that. And if you don't want to make your own pumpkin spice syrup, if you look in the coffee aisle of your grocery store, especially this time of year, they're going to have some pre-made pumpkin spice syrups for coffee. Those are actually going to be really easy shortcuts for cocktails too. Now we need one eighth of a teaspoon of grenadine. Now I don't have teaspoon measures down here, so we're just going to go with about half of a bar spoon. And another one eighth of a tablespoon of absinthe. Now this has a strong flavor that can take over a drink. I personally love absinthe, but you want to be careful with this when adding it to your cocktails. 
You don't want to get too much. And last, a dash of Angostura bitters. Now this cocktail's got a lot of spices going on. We've got the cinnamon syrup, or in this case pumpkin spice, the falernum, and the Angostura. This is why I don't really buy spiced rums, because in the tiki world, you have so many other options for spices. At Don the Beachcombers, they probably would have filled the tin with crushed ice and put it into a Hamilton Beach drink mixer, but I don't have one, so we're gonna shake this cocktail and then pour it over crushed ice. And for our glass, I am using Beach Bumberry's own Latitude 29 Octopus Tiki glass, which I've already filled with crushed ice. Go ahead and strain that in. And depending on the size of your tiki glass, you may need to top it off with some more ice just to get it up to the top. The traditional garnish here would be a sprig of mint, but being Halloween, a big bright green live piece of mint doesn't seem right, so we're going to go with a dehydrated lime wheel. And how about a tiny umbrella? And of course add a straw, and there you have the zombie, using Beach Bum Berry's Zombie Blend. Right off the bat, you get a pleasant hit of lime and spices. By adding our pumpkin spice syrup, the spices are a little more complex. There's plenty of cinnamon, but also nutmeg, allspice, and cloves. You're also getting some of that spice from the falernum, which has a lot of those same spice flavors. After that, you start to get the rums. There's some molasses and caramel and brown sugar, some overripe fruit notes. Despite being 118 proof, you really don't get any ethanol burn here. The grapefruit's adding a little bit of bitterness, some more citric acid, and a little sweetness to balance the whole thing out. I know it says limit to two per person, but this is so good, I could drink these all night. That's my pumpkin spice zombie using the Hamilton Beach Bumberry Zombie Blend. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.